Welcome back, quilting enthusiasts. I'm so glad you're joining me today. We're going to be talking about a topic that's important for perfecting your quilt tops when using HSTs or half square triangles. Today's topic is crucial for perfecting your quilt tops. It's all about bias and half square triangles. We'll break down what bias is, why it matters, and how it can help you achieve stunning results in your quilting. So grab your favorite supplies and let's get started. Half square triangles, or HSTs as they're commonly known, are a fundamental block in quilting. They consist of two triangles that make a square. They're used in various quilt patterns to create dynamic designs and intricate layouts. To make them, we start with two square pieces. But first, let's review. In order to understand what the bias is, we need to define some terms. Let's start with the selvage. The selvage is the edge that's produced at manufacturing. It's what keeps the material together from unraveling. The raw edge is the piece that is cut when you go to the fabric store. The lengthwise grain follows the selvage, while the crosswise grain follows the raw edge. The bias is the 45 degree angle between the lengthwise grain and the cross grain. If I have a piece of fabric such as this, and I want to know where my lengthwise grain and my crosswise grain is, I have no selvage to help tell me. So I can do the pull test. I can see when I'm pulling this that it pulls slightly, and this one doesn't pull as much. I know that this one is my lengthwise grain, and this one with the slight pull is my crosswise grain. Now if I took the two corners, you could see that it really pulls. And when you do that, it actually distorts your square. You can see now that my square is out of square. So as we determined, I have my crosswise and my lengthwise grain, and from corner to corner will be my bias. This is typical, the cut corner to corner, when we do a half square triangle. So when you cut your fabric on the bias, it gives that seam some stretch. The stretchiness can be both your best friend or your worst enemy. There are numerous benefits for cutting a half square triangle on the bias. The first is that your block will lay nice and flat. This is crucial when you're trying to match up those points. The second is that those bias seams do give a little bit of stretch which also can help you match up your points. So what's the big deal if I sew on the bias or if I sew on the straight of grain? When you sew on the straight of grain, your fabric loses the stretchiness. So then it's harder to match up your points. Plus, your edges can distort way out, especially if you're not careful in ironing. And obviously this can lead to misaligned quilt blocks and a less precise final product. To demonstrate this, I'll be sewing two different blocks, one on the bias and one on the straight of grain. Um, draw a diagonal line from corner to corner. And then you're going to sew a scant quarter of an inch from that line on both sides of that line. And then you cut on the drawn line. Now we're going to sew one that the seam will be on 
the straight of grain. So on this one, you're going to sew a scant quarter of an inch all the way around the block. And then we will cut it on, the, on both diagonals. You can see on this one after finger pressing that it just does not lay as flat as what the other one lays. So there you have it. The importance of working with the bias and half square triangles, as well as the potential pitfalls when sewing and pressing. Understanding and utilizing the bias will help you create stunning projects that showcase your quilting expertise. Don't be afraid to experiment and master this technique. Here are some examples of ways to cut and sew HSTs. Okay, for two at a time, you're going to place right sides together, draw a line diagonally, sew a scant quarter of an inch from either side of the line, and then cut on the line, and then go ahead and press. A four at a time, you're going to place right sides together, sew around the perimeter a scant quarter of an inch, and then cut diagonally from corner to corner. For the eight at a time, place right sides together and draw a line diagonally from corner to corner. You're going to sew um, a scant quarter of an inch from that line on both sides on both lines. Then you will cut um, right down the middle vertically and uh, across, so horizontally. And then you will also cut on each of those drawn lines. Then press open. Strip method num number one requires you to take two strips, lie them face down, um, right sides together, sew a scant quarter of an inch on the top and the bottom of the strips. Then you're going to use a 45 ruler um, lined up at the bottom to cut um, your first strip and then you will rotate that ruler from the top to the bottom as you go um, cutting those strips. On the strip method two, you're basically doing it like you do a two at a time, only you're going down the full length of the strip. So you will mark out your width of your block. In this case, it was a two inch block, so two and seven eighths. And then you will draw, draw your diagonal lines and sew on either side of those lines and then cut vertically uh, where the drawn lines were and then also diagonally where the drawn lines are. If you want to calculate your own HSTs, here's a math sheet that can help you. This can be found on my website. Thank you for joining me today in this quilting adventure. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Until next time.